and here he is on the battle ground. It's Russell Magnus, Fred the Movie 2, here on Camp Fred 3, Camp Fred. He is the one, the only, Rick the Rock. That's right, I am your YouTube champion, people's champion, Rick the Rock. And this is the heart stopping, animals dropping, always number one, simply the best and better than all the rest. It is the people's WWE channel. And as always, you guys know what to do. Share this video all over the people's internet. Tell your friends about Rick the Rock. Spread that people's word. Comment below. Go check out all my other videos, such as my Smackdown review. Add me on Facebook, Richard JP. Follow me on Twitter, at Rick the Rock Pit. Hashtag Rick the Rock. Go and view out my Facebook page, the People's WWE page, Team Ring It, as well as WWN World Wrestling Network on Facebook to see my expert analysis. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. If you do like and subscribe, you get a copy of my story, The Wizard of Rock. You'll be mentioned, recognised, you'll get a shout out and I'll start covering WWE rumours. I have watched both Fred the, Fred the Movie 2 and Camp Fred, Fred 3, Camp Fred, starring John Cena and Russell Madness, starring John Morrison. But we are indeed just six days, six nights away from WWE. Battle. Ground. And now, and this is my WWE Draft 2016 Draft Picks. Um, a lot, I'm just doing this for fun. If you agree with my Draft Picks, let me know in the comment below, comments below. A lot of other people have done this, so I'm going gonna to give it a go. So, the first draft pick for Monday Night Raw is the one, the only, the WWE Champion, Dean Ambrose. Uh, it would make sense, but, well, it has to be him, really. He has to be the number one pick. The number one pick for SmackDown would be John Cena. It would be big to have him back on SmackDown, and that's where we started. The number two draft pick for Raw would be Seth Rollins. The number two draft pick for SmackDown will be Randy Orton. Uh, to have Cena and Orton on the same show will be big. Number three will be for Raw will be Roman Reigns. Number three for SmackDown will be AJ Styles. Number four for Raw will be the Intercontinental Champion, The Miz. So the, oh, so the Intercontinental Championship will be on Raw. So that would mean the US Championship going to SmackDown. So the fourth draft pick for SmackDown will be Rusev. And obviously Lana would go with Rusev. And Maurice will be with a Miz on Raw. There's really no reason to split those up. Your fifth draft pick for Raw would be Apollo Crews. For SmackDown, Alberto Del Rio. Number six for Raw, Apollo Sorry. So yeah, number six for Raw, Baron Corbin, and then number six for SmackDown, The Big Show. Um, the rest are in no order. These are just really thrown together. Just, I'm just sticking them on one show or the other. Um, so Cesaro would go to Raw. Darren Young would go to Raw. Bo Dallas is going to SmackDown. Y2J, Chris Jericho, going to SmackDown. I think he'd be a big name for SmackDown. The show-off, Del Sigler, going to Raw. Darren Young going to Raw, certainly if he wins it in the colour title at Battleground. Curtis Axel 
going to SmackDown. Enzo and Cass going to SmackDown. Um, I do think there have to be a few flaws to, to, to star, so, so people are going to be on both shows, both Raw and SmackDown. So those would be WWE Champion Champions of New Day, or whoever the Tag Team Champions are. Brock Lesnar, The Rock, The Undertaker, and Women's Champion Charlotte, or whoever the Women's Champion is. Because other than, unless um, SmackDown are getting their, ver their version or bringing back an old version of tag titles, then they need a new day really to be on both shows. Jack Swagger will be going to SmackDown. The Usos, they will be going to SmackDown. Fandango will be going to Raw. Goldust will be going to Raw. Joining AJ Styles, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, The Club, going to SmackDown. Kalisto, going to Raw. Kane, going to Raw. Connor, going to Raw. And they could really split up the Ascension and really make Connor into a super heel, a top heel. Um, he's got the size, so why not? Mark Henry, going to SmackDown. Our truth going to SmackDown, Golden Truth desperately splitting up. Kevin Owens will be going to SmackDown. Our uh, Sin Cara going to SmackDown, so split up the Lucha Dragons. Maybe down the line at some point, Lucha Dragons could reunite. Tyler Breeze going to Raw, so you'd have Fandango, sorry, on SmackDown. Uh, you'd have Tyler Breeze on SmackDown and Fandango on Raw. Then he's really need splitting up. Victor will be going to SmackDown. Um, the Shining Stars, Epicon Primo, Stick Balls on SmackDown. Neville, I know he has returned for a house show. Well, not for a house show, sorry, for a dark match. But um, if, he, if he's returning to TV, I would have him on Raw. Sami Zayn will be going to Raw. Both Sami Zayn and Owens need to be on different shows. Um, they need to be on different shows. Sheamus will be going to Raw. The... Uh, Vaude Villains, so in in English and Simon Gotch, going to Raw. The Dudley Boys, Devon Dudley and Bubba Ray Dudley, going to Raw. Zack Ryder, woo woo woo, going to SmackDown. Onto the Divas, or the women. Alicia Fox, going to SmackDown. Becky Lynch, going to SmackDown. Paige, going to SmackDown. And Summer Rae, going to SmackDown. On Raw, Dana Brooke. You might not agree with this, but even Marie, if he really means he's going to come back to the main roster, then SmackDown Raw's really new, which he needs to be. Natalia and Sasha Banks. The rumoured NXT guys so coming to the main roster. These are the rumoured guys. So Austin Aries will be on SmackDown. I think having him on SmackDown would be big. Blake for SmackDown. Finn Balor has to be on SmackDown. Mojo Rawley on SmackDown because that Ryder and Mojo Rawley could continue the hype bros. No way, Jose, I'm not really bothered about, so I'd say SmackDown. Billy Kay, who didn't actually make her um, main roster debut on SmackDown, I think a couple of weeks ago. But she will be going to SmackDown. Carmella going to SmackDown, maybe to join Angel and Cass. And Peyton Royce going to SmackDown. For Raw. Elias Sampson, Johnny Carano, Murphy, Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson to the Revival, Shinsuke Nakamura, Tomasa Shampa, Alexa Bliss needs to be on Raw because Alexa Bliss and Murphy could be a team or Alexa Bliss could be Murphy's manager. Bailey, Liv Morgan and Nia Jax. So that's my picks. Let me know in the comments below if you agree. Um, any returns? I'm not sure about. I'm not sure. There are quite a lot of rumored returns. Mr. Kennedy, uh, Kalito, MVP, Shutter Benjamin, John Morrison, Goldberg, Jeff Hardy. <coughs> um, I doubt Goldberg. I doubt Jeff Hardy. Certainly not. Kurt Angle. I would say no. Goldberg. I would say him to do return on Raw at some point if he's going to return. Uh, Sheldon Benjamin, SmackDown if he does return. Kalito, SmackDown, MVP Raw, Kennedy 
if he's returning, Raw, um, John Morrison, if I don't mention him or not, but him, I would say Raw. But these are just rumours. There might be no returns. There might be no NXT guys coming to the main roster. Hopefully there will be, but those are my picks. So let me know if you agree. I hope you enjoy Raw tonight. That has been my WWE Draft 2016 picks for both Raw and SmackDown. I will be watching the draft tomorrow and I will be doing um, analysis on WWE World Wrestling, World Wrestling Network on Facebook. So get checking that out. Thanks for watching. If you smell of the rock, it's cooking.